more interesting or landscape more interesting. It's complimentary stuff. Complimentary. Right? You know, yeah. a lot of times I'm driving around, I'm looking at this laurel petalum, this dark color laurel petalum. It's a beautiful plant as it stands, but, you know, some ways to really punch it up a notch to make it look more interesting when the light's low, when it's a high light in the day. But here, using golden foliage or aria foliage, we talked a little bit about yeah. that, is a way to do it. You don't need a lot of it, but just some accent color. And you can see this abelia. And the, it's that golden touch. Contrast. And the contrast, the, the burgundy stem. This is a way to really make it more interesting, to have a, a multiple seasons of interest, you know, using that golden foliage. You know, here is a great looking plant for the shade. It's called Lemon Daddy Hydrangea. Just look at that nice chartreuse looking foliage. But when you put this plant with this other hydrangea, called Matilla Gutness, it really stands out. You know, oftentimes in the shade, it's dark, it's not, there's not that much light or highlight. This would, you know, accentuate the color. Also, when they, they don't have flowers, it's gonna be a beautiful display of foliage. You know, interesting, not dull, not boring. You know, just to show you the difference between, here's a, here's a hosta called Praying Hands. You know, again, another shade plant, dark green. When you, even dark green looks great against this. You know, if you had, say, 20 of these hostas in the shade, yeah. you know, they're not going to stand out as much if you dropped one of these golden hydran golden leaf hydrangeas in there. How close do you want to plant these to your, your flowers? You know, well, you can plant them. Uh, probably they need to be off center around 12 to 24 inches. You know, just depends on the size of the flower. Yeah. You know, going to the sun, you know, we have this beautiful golden sword, uh, excuse me, color guard yucca, the just perfect yellow color. You know, take this orange zinnia, you put these in front of that, oh, you yeah. know, that is going to be a fabulous color combination. Interesting. It's going to be enduring even when they're, not they don't have the flowers when they're uh, growing up and maturing the foliage together is going to look great you know you can also use colas colas is another great plant you know it has that margin of uh gold i would take this margin of gold with this margin of gold a hosta called fragrant bouquet yeah they go together they just you know unbelievable color even without a flower going to again for the more of the sun here is a you know a liriope is called PD ingot, but it's more gold color. And but the nice thing about this uh, plant is it has a purple, rich purple flower. So you may not like a lot of it, but you know, add a little bit in there. But you can see how that blue color really is stunning. You know, making sure that you mix this golden color foliage in your landscape is important. Also, when you do it, you don't want to put you know, go overboard. You know, a lot of people say, well, that's a great idea. Let's have all golden because, you know, it's, it's a combination of the two. It's all about together. making the colors pop. Right, right about, exactly. Really stand out. We have one more to show. Do we have time? Yeah, we got time. Okay. About 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here is an oxalis. Again, shade, like a loving plant, beautiful purple color. When you put this oxalis with that, Right there. I mean, Ted, that's going to be a phenomenal color combination. Oh, yeah. We just have, there's so many choices to make. Are these expensive? No, this this hydrangea is probably around $20. Oh, wow. The oxalis is probably around 4 bucks. You know, there's just so many Very color affordable. combinations. Very affordable right. and easy to make your garden look that one notch better. Excellent. All right. Larry, thank you so much. You know, for more information about gardening, log on to Larry's Garden at larrysgarden.com. Give him a call.